So what's going on everybody? It's uh, me, Ben Barreto, the real estate pro, and I, today I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the best part of living in Knoxville is... What's going on everybody? It's uh, me, Ben Barreto, the real estate pro with Keller Williams Realty, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you real quick about the pros and cons of living in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, we were supposed to have a neighborhood yard sale today, so I, uh, the, it, it's raining though, and the rain chased the yard sales away, and so I'm stuck inside, and we're filming in my room because my mother-in-law's staying with us, and she's in my office, which got turned into the guest bedroom. So here we are, and luckily for you, uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a little while, and uh, it's about the pros and cons of living in Knoxville. And before we get into it, full disclosure, the uh, this is 100% an opinion piece all right it is uh, my opinion solely uh, a little backstory before we get started uh, I moved to Tennessee when I was 14 years old from Baltimore Maryland it was the the last thing I ever wanted to do I was 14 it was the summer before high school it was a culture shock but over time even though I hated it for many years over time I've learned to love it and now I feel uh, Knoxville is one of the best places to live in the U.S., but it's a great place to live. And in that spirit, let's jump right into the pros about living in Knoxville. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the biggest perk to living in Knoxville, and that is the cost of living. The cost of living is so cheap. It's a great place to live. It's affordable. And uh, I don't want to get too much into that because I'm going to do a cost of living video pretty soon and I'm going to put that out. But just for now, check out this graph uh, that's going to, uh, that's right here on the screen. Uh, you see these two lines and the top line uh, shows you uh, the national average over time. Okay. And the line way below that is the Knox, is Knoxville, Tennessee's uh, average cost of living over that same period of time. So it's a huge difference. Uh, here's another story for you. I used to rent an apartment in San Diego. I rented it with a friend. It was a two bedroom, two bath, about a thousand square foot apartment in Escondido, about an hour from the beach. And it cost us $1,600 a month. That was 15 years ago. Now, in 2019, that same $1,600 a month could get you a full three bedroom, two bath house on a lot. Uh, it's, it's so much uh, better uh, as far as money goes. Another part uh, about living in Tennessee that's great is the school systems. All right, We have great school systems, and we have 44 public schools, that's elementary, middle, and high school, plus 64 private schools on top of that. Uh, and we also have four great colleges in the area, one of which is the University of Tennessee, which was voted uh, one of the best colleges in the United States. And it has a great uh, school, medical school, it has a great uh, law school, and an architecture program, everything. So uh, education opportunity here is awesome. And in Tennessee, if your grades are good, the government will pay for your first two years of uh, undergrad. So that's great, all right? Uh, another awesome part about living in Knoxville is traffic. Tra there's, traffic really doesn't exist here. I hear people complain about it, but it's because they never lived anywhere else. I've lived in San Diego, I've lived in Baltimore, I've been through Atlanta, I've been in a lot of big cities where traffic jams last hours. An hour is a quick ride. In Tennessee, in the middle of a high traffic uh, part of the day, you could drive from one side of Knoxville to the other and still do it in under 30 minutes. Uh, it's a very rare that you'll ever catch yourself in a traffic uh, jam that, that takes up an hour or more of your day. I've heard people say it. I feel like they're probably exaggerating. And uh, again, um, they more than likely have never lived anywhere else. And it also could be that I'm just a smarter driver than most people and I always take optional routes when uh, there is a traffic jam because I have gotten spoiled and now 30 minutes is too long for me in, in a lot of ways. So obviously another awesome uh, part about living in Tennessee, and I say obviously because if you, if you looked into Tennessee at all, it's obvious, and that is nature. Uh, if you are a nature lover, you have to come check out Tennessee. We have 12 national parks and 85 uh, state and local parks just in Tennessee. It's incredible. You could go fishing every day uh, for years and never fish in the same uh, fishing hole. Uh, we've got hiking, we've got camping, we've got uh, 
you know, lakes, rivers, streams, everything you could think of. We have it here in Tennessee. Uh, you know, frisbee golf, uh, whatever. You know, dog parks, of course, are big for me. So there's t- and and the best part is a lot of these state parks. Um, you can't take your dog to the Smoky Mountain National Park, but you can take them to just about any state park. And there's again, 85 of them. <laughs> you, you can go all day. So that that's really it for the the pros about living in Tennessee. Let's get into the cons. In the first place, I want to really start uh, is to go back to transportation, and, and that is that Knoxville is is still in its growing stages of public transportation. We do have a lot of Uber uh, now, which is great, uh, and, and uh, Lyft, but uh, so we won't talk about taxis, uh, but the, the bu- public transportation, as far as busing, is still growing. Uh, we do have uh, bus public buses, but they only run in the metro area, and they don't run very frequently. In some routes, they might run every 30 minutes, but for the most part, they run every 45 minutes to an hour, which isn't the most convenient. And again, it's only in the metro. So if you wanted to go outside the city, you'd, you'd have to have a car. Which I mean, really, if you live in Knoxville. You have to have a car. You can't survive without a car. I guess you could if you only lived within the city. It, it would still get really inconvenient in a lot of ways. And there's not a lot of sidewalks uh, in Tennessee. Now, Knoxville is building up greenways, but those greenways are really for jogging uh, and connecting some communities together, but not all of the city. I think eventually that's where they want to go, but there's still a long way to go. Another negative for me about living in Tennessee, and this is probably going to get me in a lot of trouble, all right? So I probably shouldn't say it, but I'm just going to say it because I've already committed. I'm here. Um, And that is uh, going back to the University of Tennessee. I'm not a huge football fan. I used to be when I was a kid, but a lot of the things I used to be into uh, fell when I moved to Tennessee and my priorities changed from being a a good athletic student to being a hell raiser. But uh, this really did it for me. And the Tennessee Vols, it drives me nuts. It's everywhere you go. Uh, you know, the big orange, go Vols, the Volunteers. They're not even that good of a team. I mean, I don't know a lot about football, but I know enough to know they're not that great. I mean, m- most of the time the fans are complaining about them. So it's, I don't, I don't get it. And uh, it's really frustrating. And uh, as much as I love the color orange, I hate the color of, uh, I hate the Tennessee orange. I can't stand it. Uh, another uh, thing about living in Tennessee, and I'm about to show my cards here, but that is, it is extremely conservative, uh, old school conservative. It is the Bible Belt. So you're going to be dealing, you deal with a lot of conservative and uh, you run into conversations a lot of times that will make you cringe and, and you want to say something. Uh, but the, uh, on, the, on the opposite of that is Knoxville City Knox, uh, is actually quite liberal and progressive. It's a, it's, it's a quite a different picture. So, and I guess a good thing on that is you can hear a lot of different opinions and, and have great conversations as long as those conversations don't get crazy. So another uh, a negative about Tennessee is the weather. So if you're a Four Seasons person, uh, you kind of get that here, but it doesn't really snow here. And when the snow does fall, it's like here until noon. And once the sun is at high, high rise, it, it melts away. Uh, and summers are freaking hot. They're, they're extremely hot, and all you want to do is sit in the house with air conditioning running full blast unless you have, like, a pool in your community or in your house. All right, so so that's uh, that's so that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the pros and cons of living in Knoxville, Tennessee. And if you have anything that you want to add to the conversation, feel free to comment below. Uh, uh, and as always, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, to my channel. I'd love your support and, and be sure to share these videos with anybody you know that would uh, enjoy them. All right. And if you ever need anything uh, real estate related, uh, if you need real estate agent advice, you want to know about the market, you're looking to buy a home, definitely uh, reach out to me. All my uh, contact information is right here or scrolling through here at some point. Uh, it's down in the description. I'd love to talk to you and see what I can do to help you in your real estate needs. Uh, And definitely check out my website at bendreamhomes.com. All right. Thanks so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, Again, uh, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, hope you have a great day. And it is October, so happy Halloween. All right. We'll see you guys later. Uh, I put a lot of these same videos in blog form, and I put them on there. If you're more of a reader, you don't have time to watch this. Uh, I don't know why you'd get this far in the video if you didn't have time to watch it though, but